to the east of the city of New Orleans, between Lake Pontchartrain and I-10, lies the unincorporated community of Little Woods. And in Little Woods is a road, a road that leads to a dead inn. Legend states that this road has existed ever since New Orleans was founded. But for many people who have traveled down this road, they have the unfortunate experience of running into a creature. A creature that isn't human. But before we go any further, you know what to do. Please hit that subscribe button and give us a like. As always, a very special thank you to all of our producers and our patrons on this channel. Without you, we would not be able to do what we do. If you would like to join our Patreon community, there is a link down in the description box below. Welcome to Esoteric Atlanta. My name is Bryce, and today on Mystery Monday, we're going to be talking about the grunge. Now, every community has its fair share of local legend and folklore. And as I've said many times in our episodes that revolve around the Deep South, the Deep South itself ends up becoming a habitat that grows legends. The Deep South, with its swamps and its bayous and its humidity, breathes. Many of the cities and towns here in the Deep South end up becoming characters and personalities on their own that lend credence to some of these stories. And for the citizens of New Orleans, the Grunch is one of these stories. Now, the Grunch appears to be a chupacabra, but not exactly a chupacabra because this mystical beast tends to have lizard-like scales and seems to me to be a little more Draco than wild animal. But the most fascinating thing to me regarding this crypto legendary animal of New Orleans isn't really the animal itself, but the stories the locals tell on how this being came to be. There's multiple stories that give multiple accounts on what exactly happened, and all of them involve Satanism. The first story I came across that talked about the inception of the Grunch had to do with society outcast. For many generations, people born with birth defects like dwarfism or missing an arm were considered again to be societal outcast. Many legends swirled around, unfortunately, around these people claiming that they were that way because the devil made them that way or perhaps maybe their parents made a deal with the devil, hence why their child was born with what is perceived to be a disability or a defect. Thank God in our modern society that we do have more of an understanding on how human biology and DNA works. We also know that we are not our nature. So whatever our body looks like or whatever blood type we have has nothing to to do with the essence of our soul and our intention in life. But with the Grunch, one of the story goes that down this road, which is now called Grunch Road in Little Woods, Louisiana, the people that were rejected by society created a community of their own. Because they were so cast out of society, they ended up living by their own rules. They ended up inbreeding together and over time, through the course of inbreeding, created the creature known as the Grunch. It is also said that these people feasted off of goats and human beings. At first, nobody really paid attention to this little secluded community at the end of Grunch Road, but all of a sudden, people started to disappear. And then as people were starting to disappear, 
other people were noticing a peculiar creature roaming around the bayou. Again, this creature had the body of a chupacabra, but the scales of a lizard. Another story goes that the Grunch was created accidentally by the infamous Marie Laveau. The story goes that Marie Laveau castrated the devil's baby so the devil's baby could not reproduce. I know that this will probably upset a lot of people. We have been programmed, indoctrinated, to believe that Marie Lebeau was bad. Well, first of all, I am not 100% sure that she was this powerful priestess that people believe she was. That's still something I'm working on in my research. But what I can tell you about what I've learned about Marie Lebeau so far is that she wasn't bad. And in fact, the people doing the indoctrinating, telling us these stories regarding Marie Lebeau were actually the ones doing the bad things, especially the bad things involving children. Marie Laveau, in my opinion, from my research thus far, was a scapegoat. But we'll get more into that on our deep dive on voodoo. But again, the story goes that Marie Laveau, while in a ceremony, castrated the devil's baby so the devil's baby could not reproduce and bring havoc upon the world. Now this is kind of humorous because the devil's baby was male. And being male, he had two testicles. And allegedly when she cut them off, they each morphed into a male grunch and a female grunch. They ended up attacking her, she did get away, and vowed never, according to the story, vowed never to dabble in voodoo again. Again, we'll talk more about that in our episode on voodoo. But nonetheless, these, this male and this female grunch then moved to the end of Grunch Road in this secluded little area of Little Woods to have their own community and continue to have children. Now, as I said earlier, the people of New Orleans noticed that there was something wrong and that there was a creature in the mist because people started disappearing around this area of New Orleans. As I said earlier, people also started to notice this crypto creature. It is said that this crypto creature does drink the blood of human beings and also eats us as well and partakes on feasting on goats. Now according to local legend, the Grunch will pull you into his lair by leaving a wounded goat on the side of the road. They tell you in New Orleans that if you're driving down the road, especially down in Little Woods, and you see an injured goat, don't get out of your car. It's a ploy from the Grunch. Now from my research, it appears that the first sightings of the Grunch was right after the Louisiana Purchase. So this would actually be before Marie Laveau was allegedly doing her rituals. Because Marie Laveau herself was born around that time too. But the last sighting of the Grunch from my research was in 2005, after Hurricane Katrina. Now again, there are many legends of weird creatures that roam our Earth. Some people believe that they come in from different dimensions and different portals. Other people believe that they've been here all along. And as always, I would love to hear what you think down in the comment section below. And if you're from New Orleans, tell me your stories. What do you know about the Grunch? All right, guys, that was a quick one for today, but we've been very, very busy here with a lot of other stuff going on. Next video will be a bit longer. Again, thank you so much to Josh McKay for doing our music. If you would like to purchase our opening song, as always, there is a link down in the description box below. And thank you so much to Todd Roderick for helping me get this video out to you all today. I hope you guys are all doing well. Hold the line. The best is yet to come, and I will We'll talk to you soon. Bye.